you for inquiring about Disney Parks, where during 2020, we're making it easier than ever to celebrate any of life's special moments. Please remain on the line for the next available agent. Due to heavier than normal call volume, the current wait time is more than two hours. Uncertainty causes discomfort, and I think that discomfort is unsettling for people. It's part of human nature. I think Disney is a familiarity for most people, so being able to go to Disney gave people that sense of comfort that they were missing and needing because COVID has made life so uncertain right now. I just get absorbed in this world that makes me disconnect from the outer, real world. I find myself there. I forget that I have to be a professional, that I have to put on a show, and it makes me enjoy my inner child. And being an adult, we sometimes forget what it is to be a child. Staying connected to it was super important for me as a kid. It just was like a real place of imagination and especially just in the mind of a kid. It's kind of a rite of passage of like an American youth for good and for ill, but it still has that place, I think, where kids and parents feel like they gotta go. There's actually a picture of me and my mother riding Dumbo. And um, that's probably like when I was like five. It's a little sentimental because my mother passed away like four years ago from ovarian cancer. So I have that picture of her and I by my bedside table. Um, but I think of those are just the moments that you want to hold on to, especially as you get older. Sorry, I'm getting emotional because I'm talking about it. but. It's those type of things that I can go stand in this one spot and go, I was here at this specific period of time and just enjoy, enjoy the time together. My dad has pretty severe PTSD from Vietnam and he was a single dad and I grew up with him, but he absolutely loved Disney and he felt a sense of safety and security there and so his anxiety would sort of melt away and so my dad was more of himself and so I started to really love the place because we could relax and have a lot more fun and bond and I felt like I had my dad there and not his mental health issues and then uh, if you're a kid and you're mildly curious about things and you spend all that, a lot of time in a place interested in what is this place and who created this and the care and the craft behind it. My parents both had to work. You know, my, my parents were undocumented immigrants from Mexico and they didn't have money for a, a sitter. So my mom worked at a, at a restaurant that was next to a video store. She rented me pretty much like every Disney movie at that that was available at that time. So I think that's where like that feeling of comfort just stemmed from. It's just like watching these movies over and over. And so it just um so like going to the park, it's like that again, that feeling of, of comfort and like everything's good. All Disney travel planners are currently planning vacations for other guests. Please stay on the line. We look forward to speaking with you. Disney isn't meant for contradictions. It wasn't designed with contradictions in mind. Like that, that is what makes Disney great and why it does elicit such feeling. But now with COVID, those contradictions are everywhere. You know, obviously we need safety precautions, but those are the contradictions to what they've built. Disney and theme parks in general, but Disney especially, they weren't made for 
social distancing and they weren't made for a pandemic. Reading the interview with Josh Demaro, president of Parks and Resorts, he said, look, the virus is here. We have to learn to live with it. And I think my first reaction to that was, it was pretty disturbed, especially because I don't see this as something that we just have to live with. I see every other country in the world has dealt with this in some form of contact tracing and waiting until the community spread gets to zero for over a period of a couple of weeks before opening, opening back up. We have a culture of exceptionalism, which is why you hear a lot of people say, if you don't feel safe, don't do it. If you feel safe, do it. And then as I processed through that, I realized, well, then he's kind of right, because Florida is not one of those places that operated that way. And Disney as a corporation isn't operating in a vacuum. And they have to uh, make the best decisions within the realities of the locations that they're operating in. I mean, any business cares about a loss of revenue. And you know, anyone who is familiar with Disney saw in the papers that Disney was losing quite a bit of money on a daily basis. However, I again, based on my experience with Disney, I knew that they wouldn't open if it wasn't safe for people, despite their loss. It's not that I don't trust Disney. It's that I don't trust other people that are going to be going to Disney. My in-laws are over 70, and I would hate to think that I, you know, catch it and then bring it back home. Like, I, I just, you know, part of you really, really wants to be there, but I can't. We were on a group text and one of my friends was like, yes, we're going, it's gonna open. We're like, no, we are not going. Uh, love you dearly, would love to see you, definitely not going. But maybe my situation isn't anybody else's situation. So who am I to say, do this or don't do that? The thing I miss most about Disney World is just being able to go there with my wife, push other things aside, and just be in this place that is designed to keep you entertained and keep you happy. It's just nice to go to a place like that to escape and kind of be enveloped in a very in a very positive way. I started to kind of mourn the way it, it was, but what I'm really mourning is that the world is so different now in very profound ways to me. And I don't think Disney could mean and be the thing that it used to be now. And that's where I, I really can't project, you know, when it would be back to normal, quote unquote. And then you, you talk about, you know, well, you can enjoy it, you know, as a new normal. Um, maybe. That, that, that's a big maybe. I, I just don't know. Knowing it the way I did before, I feel like I will always just sort of long for what it was. What, what is magic? You know, there's not someone sitting there with a wand going, you know, bibbity bobbity boo and then, oh, I'm going to change this, everything's going to be fine. That doesn't happen. But as long as you can touch base on your memories from the past and try to morph those and adapt those to the current situation, I think that's what we can hold on to for this current moment. Not all magic is perfect, and Disney's no exception to that, and... To me, it's not like a, oh, look, they're, they're human now. Because <laughs> I, I never put it in that category to begin with. So I, I, there's no doubt in my mind that, you know, a year from now, when hopefully <laughs> everything's, you know, a little bit more clear to go and everything else is kind of okay, then I'm, I'm not going to get the same exact, you know, feeling that I had before. That feeling of a... Uh, Everything is going to be okay.
thank you and have a magical day.